Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? I hope I didn't make a mistake in trusting you. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. It's a long journey to Mar Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Malcolm! Are you gonna be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? be Lord Roderick, so long as we all know who holds the reins here. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... and we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You tried to lie about what you did to get here. But we both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. You don't even have the courage to admit what you did. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger! I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? Brit didn't do anything wrong. Garrett murdered him in cold blood. 
And he just left him there. Like an animal. Garrett's no brother. He's worse than the wildlings. He'd kill any one of us who looked at him funny. Look right now. I bet he's plotting how to kill me next. None of us are safe around him. Let's go. Say goodbye to your brothers. Rossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. Not with this one, you're not. Got a witness says he murdered Brit. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Garrod, I... I can't believe you did this. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrod, you told me you wouldn't get into it with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrod. I thought you were going to be by my side at Craster's. I know I did the right thing. That's all that matters. What Brit did to your family, anyone would want him dead. But now you'll have to face the consequences. But John... I'm sorry, Garrod. There's nothing more I can do. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. Seems even your mother's abandoned you. Won't be alone for long, though. The Axeman will find you soon enough. Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men.
hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Then maybe you should get to know me better. I'm not like those other men. You sure look like the rest of them, covered in dirt. Oh, shit. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, Asha. You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. You're asking for proof. I have this. Drogon. How did you get that? What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. If we did, I'm sorry. It wasn't our intention. We weren't looking for a fight. And neither was he. Sure he wasn't. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? You've been polite. Accommodating. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? With your permission, I want to hire a contingent of the Second Sons. I need them to help me fight for my family back in Westeros. The Second Sons? Has your reason failed you? Please, if I also came here looking for an army, but what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. What if we left after the liberation, once the slaves are free? Once the slaves are free, I will sail back to Westeros and reclaim my crown. There is no after. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. Oh, that's but it. Your Grace. See them out. I faced a dragon and live. Nothing in Marine can be worse than that. How bold of you. You forget that it is my dragon you boast of defeating. I said I survived, nothing more. And Beska here, she has a history in Marine. She could help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. 
This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? We'll help you free the city. If you'll just consider what I've asked. We can talk about that after the slaves have been released from their chains. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Maureen, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. What the fuck happened back there? Are we really going into Marine? What's the problem with you and Marine anyway? It doesn't matter now, does it? Best guess. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more! It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roiland. He can fight his own battles. You know why he had to stay down. Next time I face Griff, it will be the last. I won't let him parade around my halls any longer. I look forward to it, my lord. But you won't win a fair fight. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Roderick! Let's try it again. Oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. <sighs> My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Talia. Roderick, can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I've missed you, Elena. <laughs> I've missed you too. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you and 
And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean? He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, we'd be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! You can't marry into House Whitehill. We'll end up on opposite sides of a war. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? But my father won't listen. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. It's time someone brought Griff down. We were hoping you'd say that. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. White he'll still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. I'll do it, if it really is the only way. I'm afraid it is. Thank you, Roderick. I knew you'd come through for us. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. I'm sorry I couldn't marry you before. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide-and-seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I'd like that very much, Elena. Then you know where to find me. I can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. <laughs> For all I of one she hour. Marry his brother too. <laughs> not to I mention put Cersei it and Jaime. Shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About Whitehill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud Whitehill. Lud Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. 
Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Well, whatever you decide, do it soon. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. doing out here? There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Or you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Sand. Don't know what I expected. Oh, I'm not getting out that way. Oh, I can't move it. Won't budge. Garrett! Cotter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Or you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you. To the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black. But I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. It's not moving, though. Keep trying. Let me see what I can do. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. That might be useful. Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. It's coming loose. I'm going to try to push it out. You pull, all right? I hope no one heard that. 
Hey, can you fit through? I think... Managed to avoid Finn. But you'll turn us in the first chance he gets. Trust me. Then we better be ready. I can get us through the tunnel. There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. We're breaking our vows. There'll be a price on our heads. The vows I said here, I meant them. I was a brother. But the Night's Watch betrayed me. And that's on them. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? isn't it? Roderick! There you are. Lady Forrester! What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I'll make sure the Maester is safe. That's what matters. Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane and I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together, then.
Obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you? me. I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. What's going on here, Griff? He's disobedient, just like you were, Roderick, <laughs> before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. My hand! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. <coughs> You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility! Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Then you'll see who's the man, and who's the cripple. <coughs> Careful, Griff. You really don't want to do that. And why the fuck not? You planning to stop me? <coughs> oh, what's the cripple up to now, eh? Fancy yourself a warrior? You are nothing, Roderick. Just give up. Not. Today. Accept it. You're just embarrassing. What the hell is this? What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders. What are you waiting for? Take their weapons. What are you doing? Drop it! Now. This is my hall! You have no right to be here! Now then. About humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you alright? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. He'll flay you, and your sister, and your own fucking family! Leave Ironrath. Take your soldiers and get out. Then maybe I'll show you mercy. I'm not going anywhere. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I will see that you pay for this! All of you! What's it gonna be, Roderick? We're done here. Clear out. Find the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. Coward! Bloody coward! Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Kill the Ravens. All of them. I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen. That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cave. What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking about? I will not let about? you bark orders at me. I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. 
She can't fight like this, Asha. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck do you What are you, you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Ha! <laughs> nice one, Beske. You motherfucker! Ah! Ah, you could never handle a fair fight, could you? Deal with your friend! She'll get us all you killed! You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck or this up! Are you up. looking forward to it? Take care of this. Because if she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Beska, anyway! what the hell is going on? Pfft, you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> <gasps> Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do! Will you stop trying to hit me? Whatever your problem is with Croft, just let it go! You think this is about Croft? You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? Your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You brought me here. It's just a city, Beska. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. I'm not going to do that. So what? You're going to kill me because you don't want to go into some fucking city. I was a slave. Here, in this fucking city. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. You never get used to something like that. I'd ask what you were thinking, but maybe I don't want to know. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. I knew you wouldn't understand. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't.
<laughs> you shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Mira, I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? I need to speak with Lords Morgrin and Andros. One of them might be working against my family. Doing what? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you, but I can't risk it. Oh, come on, Mira. Fine. Just stop making that face already. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people Oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little lobes. <Stop> it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? I have to take care of a personal matter. Oh, well, don't let us stop you then. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That and... is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! no longer a demand. I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Well. Wasn't he Lannister? One of their guard, but still. Surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. 
Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Telling the joke, remember? <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. But now Lord Andros seems to think he's the only one working for him. So what happened? It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. Do you know what Lord Andros is planning? He's acquired a large amount of gold, but I haven't the slightest idea what he intends to buy with it. Whatever it is, he's managed to get a Lannister involved. A Lannister? Lyman. He may only be a third cousin. But he's a Lannister all the same. <laughs> Rickard, are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. Lord Andros? Mira Forrester. Did you come to poke your nose in my business once again? You have a nasty habit of doing that. You're always so livid, Lord Andros. It can't be good for the Constitution. You think you can mock me? You have no idea what you're up against. Why don't you tell me then? All you need to know is I've got powerful friends, Lady Mira. Tyrion isn't the only Lannister interested in what I have to offer. And if you don't stay out of my way, you'll end up in the Black Shoals with the Imp! 
Good day, Lady Mera. Sarah? Lord Tarwick? Well met, Lady Mira. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Have you had any luck? Luck? With what? I saw you talking to Lord Andros over there. This place is full of eligible men. I assumed you were on the lookout for a husband. That isn't really what Mira's interested in. Nonsense. You must have your eye on someone. Oh, don't press her, Garibald. I'm only curious. No harm in that. You can tell me. I can keep a secret, can't I, Sarah? What do you know about Lord Andros? <laughs> Look elsewhere, Mira. That man is married to his gold. And from what I hear, he never did enjoy the company of women. I should be going. Stay out of trouble, Mira. Hello again, Lady Mira. Goodness, Mira. I didn't expect to see you back so soon. Please excuse me. Oh, it seems so calm out there. I've already told you that. Didn't we agree to stop talking business? All right, Ricard. How about something more personal, then? Oh, you're calling me Ricard now. Well, when are you going to get married? <laughs> <laughs> Isla! <laughs> that took a turn, didn't it? You didn't answer the question. Lord Morgren. Lady Mira, I'm sorry, but I really can't talk now. I'm sure you can find other ways to occupy your time. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? Ah. Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly, but I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? You look like you could use some company. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Oh? What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. I respect that. Trust is so rare in King's Landing. I'm glad you think so. And just between us... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. 
don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you alright? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. Alright? How about we trade? There must be something I can tell you. There is something. I'm curious about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right. But I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. That is unfortunately the way things are. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. He'd be horrified if everyone knew. I'm quite serious, Mira. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira? Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I know about your situation, Lyman. How you were hurt in Lannisport. How painful that must have been. You don't know what you're talking about. It's no wonder you still need milk of the poppy. No, I've never... It can't have been easy. Andros has been holding that over my head for years. Then don't let him. Andros was wrong about you, Lady Mira. You're kind. 
and you should know what he's... I should warn you. Andros is hiring cell swords, hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Well, now you know, too. That army will destroy my family. That was his hope, I'm sure, but I... It's only fair that you know, Lady Mira. What you do with it is up to you. But... I'd better get my affairs in order. What did I tell you? I've had enough of this, Andros. She showed me what you've been doing. I'm done. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Sure, this is the right way. Cotter. Let's see that map again. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. How's the food? But we should keep moving. Better if we're moving in the right direction, though. Don't worry. Even if Finn told the Rangers where we're headed, they won't know how to find us. We're on the right track. This way. things. You stay here. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Cotter! They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, all right? She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. Good hunting. No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardhorn. You know it? I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. I'm... Oh! oh. You sure look like a crow oh, to I'm me. Not. You're dressed like one. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend! Or I'll make him scream first. Listen! I don't want to fight. Then you shouldn't have come here. Please! You should have stayed behind your wall where you belong. He's not alone. I knew a little crow wouldn't wander off by himself. Leave him be. All right. Just... Just take me. Let him go. That we're just passing through. We didn't mean any harm. Right. You and your fuckless men just want to kill us all and take our land. But you didn't mean any harm. <whistles> kill! 
kill them. Yeah, it's over. Just don't do it, Garrett. Let her go. <sighs> we can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on. We can rest up ahead. I thought I'd feel better, seeing Griff dragged out of the Great Hall like that. You wanted to kill him, didn't you? How did you know when to stop? I don't think I could have. I suppose that's why you're the Lord. I just knew it wasn't right. It wasn't the Lord I wanted to be. What do you think Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? If he truly has a spy... He won't know of this. Not until we want him to. The gates are barred and every raven in the rookery is dead. My lord, there's been a message from High Point. Lord Whitehill invites you to discuss a truce. He wants to make peace. As if we're that naive. Maybe this is an opportunity. A way to get behind their walls. And do what? You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. She's right. What do you hope to accomplish? We could get Ryan back. This could be our chance. You're right. Now that we have Griff, we can propose a trade. A trade? His son for my brother. Then we have a plan. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. We obviously need them here. You can't mean for Roderick to travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? My lord, you cannot go into an enemy stronghold unprotected. Nor can you leave Ironrath vulnerable. We have small folk soldiers. They're barely trained, Royland. I'm Sentinel, and I say the Glenmores go to High Point. Let Arthur know at once. Yes, my lady. I'll start making the preparations. To think that one of them might be spying for the White Hills. Duncan wanted you to travel to High Point without any protection. Yet Royland would leave Ironrath defenseless. Well, I'll need an advisor with me at High Point. 
By rights, it should be your sentinel. But for something this delicate, perhaps you'd best take Duncan. You're going to an enemy stronghold. Surely you want your master at arms. How could any of them betray us? I've known these people my whole life. I wish I knew. Duncan comes with us. Ryland can stay here and defend Ayanra. Very well. Roderick, I know I can't come to High Point, but I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please, I'll do anything you ask of me, even something dangerous. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. Find proof if you can. I'll... I'll do my best. I have faith in you, Talia. I've known Lud Whitehill a long time. He's selfish, greedy, and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. At least, I don't think he would. I hope you're right, Mother. Welcome. Don't worry about me. Focus on the mission. Your family needs you. That's what matters right now. I know. I won't fail them. You'll make them proud. Good luck, my boy. So we begin. Listen up! There are four of these guard posts throughout the city. They'll use them to warn the masters in case the slaves decide they're tired of wearing chains. We're here to make sure they don't see it coming. Therund, you take the north. Penn, the south. Asher, we'll take the east. And Kirin will cover the west. Make the enemy blind. Give the Unsullied a chance to get in and arm the slaves. The rest is up to them. Don't get cocky out there. One mistake, and the man you remember when we stole that giant warhammer? Get in, do what you have to do, and get your people Didn't out she hit you in the face with it? That's all you I need never to thought my head could feel any You worse. got that. Tonight, any man who wishes to be free may take that freedom from the grip of his master. You will clear a path for them, but they must walk it alone. Justice belongs to the people of Marine. Do not make them wait any longer. <sighs> what does she know of justice? Is there a problem? If you can't do this, tell me now. The Masters will be judged by the people of Marine, not by you. You don't have to worry about us. Just point us at the people you want dead, we'll take it from there. You enjoy this far more than you should. Kill only those you must. You will both do as Croft commands. Follow his orders exactly, or you will get nothing. Now go. Show them the hell they have made here.
hoped I'd never see this place again. Tried to run once. Didn't make it very far. Which way? There's a path around there. Avoids the main street. Let's just get this over with. What's the matter, Croft? You see how many guards are out there? How were you expecting to get past them? We'll be caught. You asked me which way. This is it. Then we'll stay out of sight. Follow me. See anyone? Cover me. Blood. been used recently. Someone's up there. Then we'd better move. We have to go. There's something I have to do. Veska, what are you doing? Do you trust me, Asha? We don't have time for this! Just tell me! Do you trust me? Of course I trust you. Good. This won't take long. Veska! Where are you going? Follow her! Why are you doing this? Ten years ago. Beska! Stop! I should have killed you. Beska! I should have fucking killed you! Beska! He was my master. Dezo Zoraza. 
The man who forced me to. Don't do this, Beska. You don't have to kill him. I can't let him live. You of all people should know that. Have you lost your mind? I'm ordering you to back away. <sighs> My best guy. I am not your Get him go! What are you doing? I shoot. You will do as I say! Both of you, take her weapon. I need to do this, Asha. After everything he's done. And he'll pay for it. Once the city is free, he will be punished. Punished by a queen who has no right to. His life means nothing to her. She does not speak for the children who died in those pits. Asha, stop her! I will get their justice. I won't let you ruin this for me. You heard what Daenerys said. Your queen will understand. Let go of me. I'm doing this, Asha. Take your hand off me. You may think you want this, but vengeance isn't the answer. You won't feel any better in the end. You, Asha. Wait! <sighs> we might just make it out of this alive yet. She's just getting started. Come on. What is this place? An old haunting camp. We can rest here. You sure? I know the signs, all right? It's abandoned. Ah! Here. Let me take a look at it. How? Just relax, will ya? What is that stuff? Ah, oh, it smells like sick cow. The maester at House Forester used it on my leg once. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Do you even know what you're doing? Hold that there. You almost done. Oh, God. Does it have to be so tight? It does if you don't want to bleed to death. Yes, Maester. Oh. oh, you got anything to drink? This far north, and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. Some water or something, please. I'll see what I can find. Someone's still living here. Strange. Guess there's not much to do up here. Oh, I've seen this before. Don't move. I'm warning you. Oh, I'll... I'll gut you like a fucking fish! <laughs> you do look like a sad little fish, don't you? That happened a lot. I can fix it for you. But my friend is hurt. We're just looking for a place to rest. There are others with you. Garrett! Is that... Just let us go. We'll leave. That's what you want, isn't it? Cotter! Oh, Sylvie. 
you're alive. I told you I'd come back. Who is this? He's a friend. You brought a crow here. You planning on introducing us, Cutter? Right. Uh. Huh. This is my sister, Sylvie. She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove. Lord Roderick, Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? And Arthur Glenmore. I don't recall you being invited. Yet here I am. Roderick, may I have a word? What were you thinking? Bringing those soldiers here is sure to set my father off. As if he needs more excuses. I thought you knew better. The Glenmores have sided with us. I want him to know it. I need you to cooperate today, Roderick. And why would I do that? I wanted us to work together, but you refused. So now my father is doing this his way. If you value your life and your family, you'll listen to what he has to say. You need to take him seriously today. Which means keeping a level head. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? That doesn't look like good faith to me. You have an impressive stronghold, Lady Gwyn. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Are your soldiers expecting trouble? They're ready for anything. The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? My lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torin serves Roose Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me, yes. You look a bit like your mother now. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on, we mustn't keep my father waiting. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him.
I don't like this. Let's be ready to defend ourselves. Form up! Ryan for Griff. That is the plan. I'll look around. See what we're up against. Are you all right, Mother? I don't know what Lud's planning, but I'm not leaving here without Ryan. Not when we're so close. I won't just turn and abandon him. Just stay close to Arthur. If things do get bloody, he's your best chance of getting out alive. Mother, look at this. This ironwood's cracked. I'm not surprised. The White Hills were never any good at the craft. Oi! Step away from that! Welcome to High Point. Lord. You're not nervous, are you? I see you're at a loss for words. Father, please. But not for Glenmore soldiers, apparently. Can we just get on with this? Once called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is, compared to your pile of timber. Lud, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast. To family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill. To family. To, to family. family. Now, I want to see Ryan. And I want something too. The Ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roos Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. In other words, you can't make the weapons yourselves. You White Hills never did understand the craft. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet... You know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft Ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. That's absurd. If you think you can threaten I'm us... I'm not threatening. So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick. This could save your house. 
I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace, and you spit at it. I offer opportunity, and you demand more. I've seen this coming since you refused to kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Ironrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch! This isn't the way to Let get what you want! Let me get slaughtering your small folk! Maybe he'll even make you watch! I'm afraid your son is locked in our cellar. What are you talking about? We've taken Griff hostage along with every soldier in your foul garrison. <gasps> you didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North. Roderick, how could you? Now it's my turn to propose a deal. Your son Griff for my brother Ryan. We want Ryan back and we want him today. Bring the boy! Ryan! Mother! Roderick! I... I thought you'd forgotten about me. No! no. Father, no! What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't do I swear this. by the gods, if you hurt The lady, get down! Let him go! Or I'll have Griff This killed. is not what we agreed. Blame him! Not me. If you want to see Griff alive again... You think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? Oh, I ought to kill you right now! Oh, you foresters never learn. I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word. Kill me, and we all die. Let go of me! Everyone, everyone, please! No. I'll kill you myself! Go on then, do it! What? You think I want? I know you want. Don't test him, Roderick! Just for all your bluster, all your posturing, you care about your son. Whitey is still a Whitey. You know what, Roderick? You're right. <clears throat> Ryan, come here! No! We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both when the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. I'm so sorry, Roderick. Iron from ice! There it is. The East Watcher. Now listen up. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do, this invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. Is that a harpy? Of course it is. Those golden tits are everywhere in this bloody city. If those guards light the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know we're here. So we stop them. Aye. How many men do you think are in there? Hard to know for sure. 
At least five, maybe more. To answer your question, too many to fight head on. We'll need to take those two out first. Come on, let's get moving. Let's go. Hmm? It's nothing. Just forget it. Focus. We have to move. This mission won't wait for us. That's all you care about. I'll take him. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Hey, prove it! What have you heard? Just sit outside the gates waiting. <laughs> Mother of dragons. She wants to see. We'll split up. One group will go high and try to climb over to the other side. What about them? That's why someone needs to stay down here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. So, which will it be? You want to be the leader, you decide. I'll go over the top. You just make sure to clear the way. I think he got the easy job. on the roof. We'll take care of it. I'll get rid of them. I've got it. Go! Nothing. Just keep doing it that way. 
You will have first see how you do. All clear down there? Hey, you listening to me? Oh. <laughs> We can finish this. Just look at them. Two men. We've dealt with worse. Let's rush them and be done with it. What about them? Are you afraid of a couple of crossbows? We took on the Lost Legion by ourselves. We stick to Croft's plan. Take care of them first. All right. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you did it. Croft! Croft! Quit your whimpering. I'm not dead yet. Hear that? It's starting. At High Point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. I was terrified when you called Lud's bluff, but you knew exactly what you were doing. And now Ryan will be coming home. He'll sleep in his bed, eat at our table. He'll be right here, where he belongs. I knew Lord would never sacrifice his son. A whitetail is a whitetail, just like a forester is a forester. You made your family proud today. My lord! Look!
Where are the guards? Dahlia? Sir Ryland! Where's my sister? Elena! Where's anybody? Wait here. <laughs> Come on. Don't be so dreary. It was a joke. I'm sorry, I... I should have laughed. Or maybe you think you can do better. Of course not. I, I didn't mean to have... Perhaps a song instead. I hear you've written a touching song about your dead brother. Am I in it? Let's hear it, shall we? No. No? Roderick! Roderick! Welcome back. Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. How courteous. Now I know where your sister gets her manners. We've had a lovely time together, haven't we, Talia? Say it. Say it's been lovely. It's been... lovely. And you? I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Ethan was the first forester I killed. Doesn't have to be the last. You don't know what you're in for, Garrett. What you're asking my brother to do. The North Grove isn't what you think it is. You claim to be a leader, yet your own people do not respect you. But we did as you commanded! These aren't cell swords, Asher. They're killers. Roderick! I can't believe I trusted him. I know you and my brother were in contact. Perhaps he told you things. Things that might prove his guilt. Perhaps you are not to be trusted either. Oh, you're not listening, Garrid. Shh.
Previously on Game of Thrones. You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. Don't move. This is my sister, Sylvie. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family, and someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring swords, Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. Rodri! I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? A flower plucked is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Your mother may need some convincing. She seems like the type to hold a grudge. It'd be a privilege to call you family. You hear that, Talia? Father will be so pleased. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh, you won't need your sword. Not where we're going. Very well. That was easy. There. Doesn't that feel better? Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do? So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Griff was injured. The maester is looking after him. <laughs> You're a better liar than little Ethan. I'll give you that. <laughs> but I already know what you've done. Oh, I really hope things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. 
I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. I'm not sure how you managed that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. The Glenmores came to us. We never asked for their help. Oh? Perhaps I need to have a word with Lord Glenmore. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Ah, here we are. Arthur! Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay! You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. Arthur's done nothing wrong! If you want to hurt someone, hurt me! No, Roderick! Why bother? You're nearly a corpse already. <laughs> no! Stop! Look at what you've done. I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please stop! Please, please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop! Please, do something! Talia, don't look! Please. Look at him, Talia. See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Rosie. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> Arthur would be safe at home with his fat father if it weren't for Roderick. This is his fault. That's a lot of blood. You're right. This is my fault. I told you, Talia. <laughs> Poor lads fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Come on, Roderick. Your little brother had bigger balls than you. I came here to kill you, but now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a holdfast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise, I'll kill you both and be done with it. Best of luck. And one more thing. No! <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. No. Ah, ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies.
Only a monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. Arthur. Oh, I'm so sorry. Why, after all we've been through, must the gods continue to shit on this house? What have we ever done to them? Follow the Starks? Obey the rule of law? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. Can't believe it's fucking come to this! The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be yours, Royland. You'll get no argument from me. But how do we bloody fight them? We just don't have the numbers. Not yet, anyway. Right now, everything depends on Asher. Once he and Malcolm bring us more fighting men, then Where we is he? Where is my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... I'm so sorry, Elena. I know how much he meant to you. He meant everything, Roderick. He was my little brother. <laughs> I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. <laughs> he was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. <laughs> and now, to die, like this. Tortured, mutilated. And all because we were your allies. If we hadn't come here. Elena. I'm sorry. Get you someplace warm. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? You can't help the dead. So care for the living. For me, that's Brian, Talia, Mira, and you. Roderick. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you, whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. You are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira. I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros. 
in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. Lord Andros is a threat to my family. He's plotting against them even as we speak. I believe you, but you called attention to yourself, Mira, and you angered Marjorie. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at High Garden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. I won't do anything to jeopardize it. I'm sorry, Mira. I truly am. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. Nothing's worth losing your friendship over, Sarah. I would have said the same thing once. to go before she sees me. She will be. Mira Forrester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. Come on, Beska, listen. How can you still be angry at me? Is that a joke? I had Dezor Zaraza in my hand and you made me let him go. You know why. <sighs> yeah, you were afraid of disobeying the pretty little queen. You chose your prize over my one chance of revenge. Enough! Your revenge would have cost me everything. It'd be worth it to see him dead. Oh, and you'd explain that to my family's corpses. <sighs> we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Yasha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. But you denied me that. I... Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. No battle is without difficulty, Your Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. And for that, I am grateful. I hear you know how to follow orders, despite your friend's efforts to make you stray. You told me Asher was a man of integrity, Malcolm. Now I know you were telling the truth. You have proved yourself an honorable warrior. You have my gratitude. Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second sons. What? But Your Grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. This is why you denied me my revenge? What did I tell you? You promised me Croft and his second sons. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. In truth, we are not so different. We're both far from home. We've both suffered the loss of those we've loved. And we both struggle to do what's right. That's high praise, Your Grace. I'm honored. You've earned it. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing.
This gold will be of use. Thank you, Your Grace. We promise to put it to good use. I'm sure you will. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their colors. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. <sighs> the little Queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Now, well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Ah, right, Sylvie? We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look... That was always the plan, Cotter. I have to go to the North Grove. My family's depending on it. <laughs> Your family needs you to wander around in the snow until you get eaten by a dire wolf. Please, Sylvie. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why did he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. Can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and... Well... Well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadded a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow 
who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Well, we've made it this far, haven't we? Getting here was the easy part. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Why'd you even bring me here, Cotter? You said you'd take me to the North Grove. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. I wonder if she's ever seen an ice spider. Whew. Hope not. I wonder why she doesn't wear it. Oh, this is that stuff Cotter was drinking. Oh. Well, it's not so bad. Whoa! Fucking hell. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, thens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the white walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Don't frighten our dinner away. Shit. Mind if I give it a shot? Go ahead. You know how to use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I'll make it do all right. Just be sure to keep it aimed that way. That's better than making do. You're not a bad shot. You'll do nicely, little one. Will that be enough? <laughs> you ever seen Cotter eat? We'll need another. not be as good as the feast you're used to at the wall. 
But we won't starve, that's for sure. You're a fair bowman. Might be nice having someone like you around. You ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Please, Sylvie. I need to know. A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories that the cold couldn't touch it, that it's safe even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope, and none of them ever returned. Do you believe the stories? Oh, I forgot. You southerners don't believe in anything you can't see with your eyes. This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. Pay attention if you expect to live through this, little brother. Otherwise, you won't. Must make you feel pretty good. What the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Russia. Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. What are you leading me into, Beska? No, I warned you. But don't worry, little brother. I'll protect you.
If it isn't Beskar, the fucking Basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can. But not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One. Two. <laughs> I like this one. Hey, Amaya! Company! <laughs> Is that a pit? Yeah, some masters couldn't get enough of the fighting, so they built their own private pits. Where things could get really nasty. That's Amaya. Keep your cock in your pants, little brother. She's likely to chop it off. Well, hello there. Not many people get past the beast. You must need something very badly. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. My name is Asher Forrester. I've traveled all the way from Westeros. I'd suggest you go back there. It's not safe here for outsiders. Amaya, please. Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom. You walked out on me. On all of us. <laughs> Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. You have a problem with her? Deal with me. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> My patience wears thin. My enemies in Westeros are powerful and bloodthirsty. Worse than your masters ever were. I need fearless soldiers to crush them. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters. Artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? You all excel at combat, but you know nothing until you've tasted the thrill of war. Waves of men crashing together. Blood and steel. In Westeros, they sing of our great warriors for thousands of years. Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. <sighs> You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? How about the belly here? Uh, uh, uh. 
you might wish so. His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Hmm. Right. Well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe? Your pretty blonde beard. I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you at least kill Bloodsong? No. I'll use your Queen's gold to get as far away from here as possible. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. You all see this cockless Westerose? He's come to order us to battle. Like our masters did! I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me! Let me show you how we dance in Marine. You fight dirty. I like that. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win! The best would be me! Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. This is gonna hurt! Yours will be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting! I think I can, actually.
Sick, the little man! Do it! Do it! Where I come from, we don't kill people for sport! The masters who once held your chains decided who lived and who died. But as you can see, I'm not here to be your master. I chose you for a reason. You're true warriors. Warriors I admire and respect. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me, and you will have glory and gold! If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in, as if you didn't know where you were. Apparently you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You made it clear your loyalty was with Lady Marjorie. Yet now, you hardly serve her at all. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest 
loyal handmaiden. One can never tell with you northern girls, assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. I try to be, Your Grace. Hmm, I see. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. I meant no harm, Your Grace. I had a personal matter to attend to. A personal matter? I'm told you used another girl to talk your way in. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I must, Your Grace. I think we both know it's more often than that. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. I would be happy to, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway. And I doubt anyone will miss him. You think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. There's no spoils without victory. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that. Victory is all we know. I'll show them their beds. I'll be there in a moment. Glad you made it. What choice did I have? You denied me an honorable death. So I must find one in Westeros. Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you've found your soldiers. Ironrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What does Daenerys want from you? She has a mission for me. But beyond that, she's told me nothing. If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with, uh, swords. 
My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Casting off! Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I brought you a gift. Wine. You know the way to my heart. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. Willingly. The Lady Marjorie sent me. Did she? With wine from Cersei's cellar. How generous of her. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty. But I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. I'm ready whenever you are. I doubt we'd get very far. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. Are you toying with me? I might ask you the same question. Now tell me the truth. Admit it. I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The guards have never let anyone in with wine. That was your first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. I wish you'd had the courage to tell me the truth. Not that I'm above drinking her wine. I told you to be careful. You'll twist your words. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. I owe him the truth. Him? He's nothing now. I'm still a Lannister. And I know plenty of men who'd happily slit your throat. Now, give us a moment. We're not done talking. Mm. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. Hmm. Perhaps you've accepted your fate. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? 
You're a clever girl. I'm sure you'll think of something. Although I would suggest you choose your words carefully. Cersei would be far less amused if she catches you in a lie. I have to give her a list of names. Tell her I'll call Shagger, son of Dolph from the Mountain Clans. Oh, and Timid, and Chella, and the, the Scepter who raised me, assuming she's still alive. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Must you leave? Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. Oh, you didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. I've never felt more certain about anything. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if you... With all that's happened... What will we do now? Now that we're... Uh, what we are? We enjoy what we have. For as long as we can. I plan to. Roderick? Oh! I'm sorry! I thought you were alone! Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh... I... I didn't realize you two were... I mean, I didn't realize she was... It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's... it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon, I hope. All right, then. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares, so I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill Garrison are being held? It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... Talia, where did you get this? The man I saw, he stashed it in the knothole of an old stump. Like he'd done it before. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. It's your duty to tell me. And mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you, as your sister, make him pay. I'm lord of this house, Talia. It's my job to deliver justice, not vengeance. I can't promise to kill a man before I've heard him out. You know what he's done. That should be enough. Talia, please. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. Go 
get the guards. Lord, <laughs> you scared me after. So you know. I didn't mean for you to learn this way. But it's done now. What I did, I did for your own good. For House Forrester. For your father's legacy! And what about Garrett? You sent him to the wall for this house! I sent him there because I had to. Believe me, I didn't want to do any of this. Why did you do it at all? Because you're reckless, Roderick! Just as Ethan was. Choosing that warmonger, Royland, as his sentinel. Ethan was a boy! But you're not. And you've been in danger in this house since the day you got home. Refusing to kiss Lud's ring, even though you knew he'd retaliate. Losing your betrothal to Elena. It doesn't matter how either of you feel. Lord Glenmore will never let you marry her now. Taking the Glenmores to High Point and leaving the front door open to the Boltons. And now, getting Arthur killed. Enough, Duncan! You're not a leader. You're a wounded soldier trying to prove he's still a man. I'm actually trying to save this family. Everything I've done, I've done for them. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. And the North Grove, did you tell them about that too? No, they've never even heard the name. I've kept the secrets that mattered. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to obey me. And you broke it. I swore to obey your father. He commanded respect. All you command is violence. This house is doomed with you in charge. Oh, and you know it. it. Hurts me to say that. But I wish you'd never crawled off that corpse cart. You're a traitor, Duncan. Nothing you say will change that. I know what I did was right. Duncan, how could you? My lord, Griff's gone. Someone helped him escape. Was this your doing? Lud was going to ambush you at the exchange. I did it to save your life. But Ryan, Duncan, I trusted you. Let's just get this over with. What do you want me to do with him, my lord? Kill me, and I won't be able to help you save Asher. He's in danger, Roderick. <gasps> I'll spare your life. Now talk. Mira cost Lud his army. He's desperate to strike back. He's going to ambush Asher. The moment he makes landfall. No! Take this traitor away! <clears throat> Silencing me won't change things. You're making a mistake! What Duncan said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Prepare the horses. We're going to war. Fight for the 
smell that? We're almost there, Beske. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up! Save your lovemaking for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your Lord Brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Ironrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A lord sounds an awful lot like a master. Roderick. He's the lord of the house, and he's been bred for it. I understand, but these men and women have journeyed here to follow you, not him. Oh, you'll see when you meet him. Doesn't matter if he can't fight like he used to. All men learn to love Roderick. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? So... This is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asher. Thank the gods you've made it back. Good to see you, my lord. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord knows you're coming. He sent men to intercept you. We need to hurry. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Could use a good fight. What? Open! Oh, God. 
father! Asha! You have to get out of there! Looks like it's up to us! Asha! Raise the gate! They've got us outnumbered! Oh, shit! We have to get out of here! without one of us holding it. One of us has to stay. We need you! My lord! You- Let me save your life. And our house. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. I'll hold them off! But my lord, you Asher can't! Asher is your new lord. Yes! My lord! Rodrick! Go! Take as many of them as you can with you! 